All right. So once you're done doing the calculations, when the, once you're done inputting your data from your lab, this Excel spreadsheet then goes and reconstitutes that feed. A reconstitution of the feed is basically a representation of the of the the feed in terms of your yield. So let's uh, look at uh, an example of what I'm talking about. All right, on your spreadsheet, let's look at the feed basically. On your spreadsheet, you have. Um, your calculation for your cumulative ash right so once you calculate your cumulative ash of your feed and your cumulative ash of your product and waste you basically can calculate now your yield using an ash balance so it'll be an ash balance yield so an actual yield so you should calculate your actual yield using an ash balance and then that's 52.5%. And obviously, if you have 100% feed and 52% of that feed is your product, then it means 47% will be your waste. Right. So basically, that's what this part of the Excel spreadsheet does. If you look there, if you calculate your, your waste, it's 47.5%, the sum of uh, your waste. And then the sum of your product must give you 52.5% and obviously those two must then uh, give you a hundred percent. So that's what the reconstitution does. And now after you're done with the feed reconstitution, you can basically calculate your partition number. Your partition number is in fact your either, you, you can either represent it in terms of your waste or your product. Obviously your graph will look different, but the slope will be the same. In this case, the partition number, it was represented in terms of your product, so your uh, percentage reporting to product. So you'll see at your lower RDs, the percentage is almost 100%. So the probability of having product at the lower RDs is quite high as compared to probability of having product at your uh, uh, smaller, uh, at your higher RDs. Let me just extend this a bit. So you can see this the, the small values you can see yeah okay we don't really have much here after we don't have product after this after um, I think it's 1.85 uh, yeah we don't have much after 1.85 mean RD anyway once you are done with that then you fit a whitened model on top of your data because what you'll just have is uh, a plot of a scatter plot of data of uh, partition curve versus your mean RD. So the partition, the the whitened model helps you to estimate your cut point, which is your D50, as well as your EP. So how do you go about doing that? So this formula there is then used to calculate your whitened model, where it uses D50 and which is your starting point D50, you start with some D50 and then you'll use solver to actually estimate for you what the D50 is. Anyway, then you fit your uh, whitened model. After fitting your whitened model, then you calculate what is uh, an error, right? You calculate the error between your partition number and your whitened model. This error is what you'll be using to estimate what the actual cut point and EP of your, of your, um, uh, uh, of your separating uh, vessel, right, so the error is between your whitened model and your partition, now you want to minimize this as much as possible, once you're done here, so basically let's just go through it so I can show you, so you sum those errors up, after summing those errors up, then you come here and then you can this graph that's here it's your white and fit and then the blue dots are your actual uh, data and then these are your d50s right so first thing you do sum those errors up fit your white and model there 
and then you open solver and then you tell it okay so